हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज रेवंत फ्रॉम डिजी इंटीग्रेटिव वेलकम टू टेक न्यूज एपिसोड 248 Jio TV and Jio tablet are set to be in the works. Both the products are expected to debut sometime next year. Unfortunately, the specifications of the products are yet to be revealed. After Airtel and Vodafone Idea Reliance Jio hikes prices for unlimited prepaid plans. New prices will go active for December 1st, 2021. Reliance Jio undercuts Airtel and Vodafone Idea prices in most popular plan choices. The Directorate of Revenue Intelligence has seized high-end phones worth rupees 40 crore at the Air Cargo Complex at Chhatrapati Shivaji International Airport in Mumbai. The DRI said it is the largest seizure of phones in recent times. Seizure includes 2,245 iPhone 13 Pro and 1,401 iPhone 13 Pro Max. According to the Realme, the Realme GT2 Pro is now officially confirmed and it will be launching very soon in Chinese market. Realme GT2 Pro marketing name has been confirmed by the company. The Realme GT2 Pro renders reveals Google Nexus 6P like rear camera module that houses triple cameras. The key specifications include a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor, 6.8 inch WQHD plus display and a 50 megapixel triple cameras. And the Realme GT2 Pro 5G moniker has been spotted in the source code of the official Realme website. According to the leaker, this smartphone will launch in quarter one of 2022. This smartphone will powered by a Snapdragon 898 chipset and has posted the highest ever score on Anti2. Realme GT Master Edition gets a new daybreak blue color option in India. The new color option will be on sale from midnight on December 1st. Realme GT Master Edition ships with a 6.43 inch AMOLED display, a 120 Hz refresh rate and a Snapdragon 778G chipset and comes with a 64 megapixel primary camera. The Realme 99 series will debut next year with the four new models. Realme will launch it the Realme 99 as a successor of the Realme 8i which was launched a couple of months ago. The device could feature the MediaTek Helio G90T chipset. Paytm Payments Bank has launched the transit card for metro, rail, bus and other payments at online and offline stores. The card is linked to the payment wallet and can be used for all the transactions. The transit card is been rolled out initially in collaboration with Hyderabad Metro Rail, Ahmedabad Metro and the Delhi Airport Express line. According to some sources, Redmi Note 12 series coming in quarter 2 of 2022 in China. And from Xiaomi we can expect that Xiaomi 11i Hypercharge India launch will be happening very soon. And again from Xiaomi we can expect that Xiaomi 12x or Poco F4 Pro Indian variant is in the works and we can expect this smartphone will be launching in India very soon in the coming months. Xiaomi plans to build a production plant in Beijing with an annual electric vehicle production capacity of 3 lakh units. The facility will go up by 2024 and will manufacture electric vehicles. Xiaomi to invest 10 billion US dollars over a 10 year period of R&D of electric vehicles. Promobot is searching for a kind and friendly face to be reproduced on potentially thousands of versions of the robot worldwide. The company is ready to pay around 150,000 euros, that is around 200,000 US dollars, to anybody willing to transfer the rights of their face and voice forever. Oppo Reno7 is expected to be priced somewhere between rupees 28,000 to rupees 31,000. The Reno7 Pro 5G might cost between rupees 41,000 to rupees 43,000 in India. Oppo is also expected to bring a new pair of true wireless earbuds in India, priced similarly to the Echo X. Oppo readying the Oppo F21 series for the end of quarter 1 of 2022. This device will prioritize design and style and has been tipped to outdo the Oppo's Reno7. Oppo F21 is expected to be priced between rupees 20,000 to rupees 30,000. From MediaTek, MediaTek Dynasty 9000 chipset is going to launch on December 16th. We can expect the Redmi K50 series will be launching with the MediaTek Dynasty 9000 series. The MediaTek Dynasty 7000 chipset specifications have been leaked online. This is shaping up to be the budget tier processor rather than this processor for the affordable flagships. And now the company is positioning this processor as the first premium flagship chipset. This is not only the processor MediaTek is said to be working on though, as we previously heard about the Dynasty 7000 chipset as well. And the leakster mentions that the new processor has a 5 nanometer TSMC design along with the 4 Cortex A78 CPU scores at 2.7 5 gigahertz and a 4 Cortex A55 CPU cores at 2 gigahertz.
Moto G31 arrives in India after launching earlier in Europe. Moto G31 comes with an AMOLED display with a standard refresh rate of 60 Hz and up to 700 nits of brightness. Other specifications include a Helio G85 chipset, 50 megapixel main camera and a 5000 mAh battery with 20 watt fast charging support. After launching the Moto Tab G20 last month, Moto is likely to launch a slightly more premium tablet called as the Moto Tab G70. This device has now been certified by the Bureau of Indian Standards and is listed on their website. This tablet is likely to come with a 4 GB of RAM and runs on Android 11 out of the box. The rumored device will be different from the Apple's MagSafe charger. Apple previously cancelled its AirPower wireless charger, citing difficulty in achieving the company's high standard. Apple also sees a future where devices can charge each other. The second Aether plant will have a total annual production capacity of 280,000 electric scooters. Aether's first electric vehicle plant come to life in Feb this year, and the company says that it has committed to an investment of rupees 650 crore in the next five years. Honor 60 series is set to be announced on December 1st. Honor 60 to come with a 6.67 inch full HD plus OLED display, Snapdragon 778G processor and a 108 megapixel triple camera setup. Honor 60 Pro will also come with a 108 megapixel main camera. China Post Communication Equipment Corporation Limited has opened a Weibo account in August this year but had not posted anything for a long time. Now it has been confirmed that company is all set to launch its Hi Nova 9 series smartphone in the country which is likely to have two models the Nova 9 and the Nova 9 Pro. The government of India on Friday said that Starlink internet services is not licensed to offer satellite based internet service in India and advised the public not to subscribe to services that are not been advertised by the Elon Musk packet company without a requisite license in the country. The Department of Telecom also asked Starlink to comply with the regulatory framework for offering website based communication service and refrain from booking rendering satellite internet services in India with an immediate effort. Volvo has partnered with the Israel based Petrolix for the development of optical technology that takes heads up display tech to the next level. The technology uses multi layer thin combiner film embedded in the windshield to provide an AR overlay of the driver's view as a driver's seat. Twitter co-founder and chief executive officer Jack Dorsey on November 29th stepped down from its position. The company's board has appointed the company's chief technology officer Parag Agarwal as its successor. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.